Explaining the ice canopy to an evolutionist. Usual people like Eddie Goomba that I come across on YouTube try to say, oh, he disproves Ken Hovum by using two words. Ice canopy. What's wrong with the ice canopy? It's scientifically possible, and they're finding numerous amounts of water still out there, uh, like between the stars or whatever. Look, not only does the scripture, like, reveal to us that there was a canopy of ice above there, like, Ken Hovind says it could have been water, ice, vapor, I don't know. He says, I don't know. It would have been a lie if he said if he established it as a, as a fact. In a lot of cases, he says, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I think. He says the word, I think. But water comes in three flavors. But the way it could have been suspended up there is that super cold ice is magnetic. And that could have been what filtered out sun rays from, uh, from, from uh, like, you know, uh, the, the, the harmful rays from the sun. And uh, from getting in, only light and... Uh, and the the the, the, uh, the waves only only hit the earth but the ice canopy actually blocked the x-rays and that's one of the reasons why people uh, I think a major reason why people before the flood lived over 900 years old and super cold ice is magnetic it would have been held up there and because the magnetic of field of the earth was stronger much stronger back then but until now over the past 150 years the magnetic field has uh, lost something like 10 percent of its strength in the last 150 years so perhaps it was stronger back then so it's not so hard to believe in the ice canopy okay like it's logical it's it's scientific and so on and it explains for the reason why we have a lot of so-called prehistoric fossils of many supposed prehistoric uh, animals that grew over incredible sizes, uh, and many giant, uh, uh, many giant bones of certain people that grew over 15 feet tall or so were giants back then. I mean, it's the only logical explanation, like nothing else. Okay, like the Bible says, like the, let there be a firmament in the midst of the heavens, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And it was originally the, the, the ice canopy and the ground. That's where the birds fly. Like the, the first heaven, the one that we breathe all the time. And the Bible said that it did rain on the earth before. And so the, the ice canopy and like basically the vapor coming up from the ground to water all the plants is basically what came from the, the, the subterranean water chambers that basically caused the water to shoot to the surface during the parts of the flood when the fountains of the deep broke open. So... Uh, why is it so like silly to believe in ice canopy theory when there's been so much logical evidence and so on and just you think it's crazy but he says water come uh, it could have been water uh, water vapor ice I don't know but super cold ice is magnetic and the magnetic field of the earth back then was much stronger it's been actually observed that certain like metals or whatever they put some some of that um, this uh, certain kind of like ice uh the, the, the this kind of ice that you put into hot water and starts bubbling that's called a uh, dry ice made you know, of something like carbon something but basically super cold ice will float on top of like something magnetic the earth is like a giant magnet so i don't know and that, that's all i have to say for this video okay if i try to simply explain something for an evolutionist or so so peace out keep thinking jews bless you and ttfn ta-ta for now